I've mentioned and alluded to a modification I've done to my TechSite AK200S sighting system that I currently have installed on my Galil style Norinco Hunter conversion project. Uh, one problem I've had, I know other people have had, is that the sight system increases the time it takes to remove the dust cover on these rifles, which is normally a very easy task. Uh, so what I've done is I've removed the spring plungers from both sides of the tech sight, uh, what I call the rear sight tower, that's this portion here. Um, to tech sight's credit, it used to be much worse and had a mushroom shaped uh, spring plunger, but they uh, they followed up with their early customers and sent out retrofit kits with the normal square-sided ones. Uh, what I've done is I've removed them totally and installed this. Uh, this is just a piece of 1 16th inch stainless steel wire rope, plastic coated. Um, on each end I have a 3 16th inch quick release pin uh, with a 0.4 inch usable length. I believe that's how they define it. Uh, it's made out of 18.8 stainless steel. And on the end I have a bit of stainless steel tubing, about 1 8 inch outer diameter. I can't remember the inner diameter of the wall thickness, um, but it was larger than 1 16th inch, obviously, because I threaded the wire rope through there and then crimped it down with some pliers. I then uh, plasti dipped both of the end pieces, not the pins, but the bit of stainless steel tubings on the extreme ends. And, uh, and that was that for that portion of it. Modifications to the tower, the sight tower itself uh, included removing the spring plungers, which was just a matter of driving out the roll pins on either side, and then running a 3 16th inch drill bit into each of the holes to ream it out so that the uh, quick release pins fit without a problem. One, uh, pro one other part of the project I didn't get to do was to drill and tap the back of the sight tower for 1032 machine, th machine screw threads. Um, reason being the steel was just tempered to, to be too tough for any of the drill bits I had and any setup that I could arrange. Uh, so what, what I was going to do was install one of these. Just an Uncle Mike's quick detach sling swivel stud, the hole on which is the perfect width to pass the, uh, pass the wire rope through and retain it to the rear sight tower. Um, all in all, these modifications could be made to the rifle for about $4 um, if you interpolate the price of you know buying four inches rather than a foot of wire rope. Um, but really for the end user, it's not going to cost much more than $4 to just put this little, uh, little wire rope piece on in the end. And it really does speed things up. You don't need to use any sort of complicated prestidigitation to remove or reinstall the dust cover. Uh, I do hope that this has helped you with your projects. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Uh, and as always, check out my other videos. Thank you very much.